Good morning. I'm just on my way into the cabin build site here, and I thought this would be a good opportunity to give you a little context for the video that you're about to watch. And so um, I'll start off by saying that the demographic for this YouTube channel is quite spaced out between an older demographic and a younger demographic, and they seem to like different types of videos. So some people are really interested in very fast edited short videos without any talking, just seeing the process of the cabin go up. And then there's a, a large audience that is also really interested in longer format videos, getting a bit more of the environment, seeing a little bit more of the process and getting a bit more of ex explanation. And so this version is that longer edit. So if you're interested in the short edit, you can go back to episode 19, the one I posted a few weeks ago, and it's just called episode 19, short edit. This is gonna be the longer version. I'm gonna explain the walls going up and the dovetail floor joists and give you a bit more context behind what I'm doing here. So um, hope you enjoy. This is my dad. He's out here from Saskatchewan helping me out for a day and a half. I'm gonna put more in the middle, is that okay right That's there? That's fine, yeah. Okay, ready to go? Yeah. Okay. Gentle, stop. Yeah, good idea. Good. Great. All right, so I'm fitting this top piece now, and what I've decided to do is cut the top log in half. In the Post and Beam book that I reference often for making this cabin, they explain a design where you have a housing on both sides, and then a log that goes inside the housing. And inside that housing, you glue insulation to the top log and to the top beam. And as the wall shrinks, that insulation just gets expanded inside that housing and you don't get any gaps because it's got that housing on both sides of the beam but because i wanted to keep this as minimal as possible and i like the look of just the same logs going all the way up to the beam and having it be seamless without any kind of molding or covering uh, i decided just to go with this approach and if the walls settle all i'm gonna have to do is just replace this top piece which i kind of expect to have to do anyways but since the cabin is going to be dismantled and moved it's really not a big deal and since I'm the carpenter building the cabin. It's not gonna be a big problem to, to change this later. But uh, yeah, so that's my approach. So I've got this piece cut in half and now I'm just scribing it so that it fits in there nice and tight.
help if I put it the right way. <laughs>
I'm sure many of you are familiar with dovetails, but for those of you who are not, I'm just gonna quickly explain the principle behind it. So the dovetail is the name of this shape. It kind of looks like the shape of a dove's tail. And it's often used in fine woodworking. And what it does is it's a joint that uh, splays out within the casing of a housing. And what that does is this not allow the piece of wood to pull backwards because it gets wider as it goes in this wood here stops the pressure the resistance from it being able to pull out making it quite a strong joint so if this cabin gets under any major force heavy winds um, or just uh, maybe my foundation has some shifting problems this is going to lock that whole structure halfway up the cabin really tightly together and not depend on the screws that are going to hold it in if this was a square and it was just being held in by two big long uh, construction screws, all that pressure would be on those two screws. Now the pressure's on the housing of the wood. Now that I've got everything fitting nicely down here on the platform, it's time to take it apart and put it up in position. Wait. <laughs> Being extra careful here because these beams are heavy, they fall, they could obviously hurt me, break the beam, do some serious damage, so I'm taking it very slow here. I have to cut this out yet tonight so that this beam can sit down on the tenon. But it's getting dark, so I think I'll be finishing up in the dark here.
This looks so wrong. I wonder if it's the right piece. It has to be. Two, one. Come on, fit. What's going on here? Oh. Oh. It is the wrong piece. This is number three. This is supposed to be number one. Three goes back there. That explains why that piece isn't fitting. I'm definitely going to be finishing this in the dark. Okay, there we go. Now I'm back here where I started. Gotta trace out this cannon. 